I think that works, just about online. Okay, it's Saturday morning again, and again, I'm without H, because no karate this morning, went last night, because today is one of his um, mate's birthday, and they are going, Let's see if you stay on, oh, he stayed in place, we drop all off. Today they've gone paintballing. H has never been uh, paintballing before. Um, he quite fancies it, obviously. But I know they'll have a blast, because his mate, whose who's birthday it is, um, he's a, he loves military. And he's got all the gear, and he loves guns and that sort of thing. So I don't think he's done it before, so it'll be well up his street. So that's where they've gone this morning. H was a bit reluctant, obviously, because um, I had to get up early because it was a quarter to eight kickoff for a nine o'clock start at the centre. Where that is, I don't know, out in the wilderness somewhere. Um, cold and dark morning. But the problem is, because of that, he could do karate this morning, so he had to do karate last night. Now, the problem is, on a Friday, he does PE, it's a gruelling PE session outside, it's winter, horrible, and they do some kind of dancing. He's not into dancing, but they do some kind of dancing thing. So when he came, when I came home last night, it got uh, his complaining of swollen feet because he had been because um, he'd been on the go all day, and then he had had a, a gruesome karate in the evening as well. He was already tired, so he hobbled to bed in a miserable state. And I said, don't worry, mate, you'll be all right once you get hit by one of those paintballs. I said, just just make sure you can run, because they hurt when, you hit, when they hit you. So anyhow, so he's gone there this morning, and he was obviously very stiff this morning. <laughs> but he was in good spirits this morning. So they've gone there today, but it's just a long session, because it starts at nine. So it's nine till three. So we're back about four or something. Um, so I'm just off to check out a new battery for the car. Last week, as you know, I bought, last time I bought a charger for it. Um, I think, from what I can gather, I've got a light on the dash, an engine light, and from what I can gather, I've just had the emissions checked at the local garage, and they're fine. Um, and it, as I suspected, it seems in modern day cars, if you get a battery that's not quite up to scratch, it throws all the systems out. Yeah, it throws all the systems out and can bring engine management lights on and stuff because they're all linked. They're all linked and all monitored and all regulated by the ECU, basically. So so I'm just, rather than topping it up, it's, it is a Duff battery. I've had it checked out. I knew that anyway. Um, so I'm just going to check out some prices, see whether to bother or not. So that's where I'm off now. Can't find the parts department. This is a maze. Master Fit showroom reception. Ah. business now. They've got one in stock that'll do the job. £55. Normally pay over £100, so garage I went to, Seb, who works there, guy, recommended this place. Now that was uh, productive actually. Place to come down is um, You've disappeared. Where have you gone? They are. Um, Vauxhall, Freeman's Common. A place called Easy Drive Parts Department. They're actually around the other side. Some guy collared me. And uh, turns out they're around the other side. So, um... Battery costs me, because I don't want to... 
you know, I have a top quality battery that's going to last me for a lifetime. But these come with three year guarantee, some easy start default make. Cost me 55 quid. Now this battery, if you go into the dealers, costs 120 quid. I can get it online, Bosch one for about 80 quid. The proper one, it's got to be a 60 amp, 60, 63 amp hour battery, so the one I got was a 60. So I made a really good saving on that and I'm really quite chuffed. Now all I've got to do is find some cheap fuel. So I'm nearly out of, out of fuel. Um, what is it now? It's about, uh, about £1.30 a litre. So if you're watching in the US, £1.30 a litre. I'm going to go to the supermarket, it's cheaper. Um, that's a lot of... You pay by the gallon, that's a lot of difference. 5.54 5 litres in a gallon. So what's five and a half times one pound thirty? You're talking over five, five and a half quid a gallon. Or, um, so that'd be dollars, wouldn't it? So probably it's about seven, seven, eight dollars a gallon, something like that. Big difference. Anyway, off we go. Housekeeping staff. What do they? What I like? Oh, just means a dog lives there. <laughs> Here's a shot up. Mrs. Bean's official house watch. <laughs> New house build. Right, these are shot up quick. These were just foundations when we came around last time. The thing is, though, I don't like the idea of that. Because that bay window is like just on the pavement. My helicopter is. It's the end of January and it feels like spring is in the air. Spring is in the air. It's got that still set feel and the uh, birds. Oh no, it's in there. Verdict. Yeah. What do you think? I'm wondering where the police helicopter is, I can hear it. <laughs> bit of entertainment for the afternoon. That's very bizarre. What's that? Tiles in the lounge. Tiles? Yeah. In the lounge? Yeah. On the floor? Huh? What's that for then? Somebody must have wanted them. A bit odd. Tiles in the land. It's very odd. Look, just looking at these plants. They are deered. Not like mine. Mine's a green one. The red ones. I think that was. Do you think that was the red one? That must have been the red ones. Never survive frosts. Whereas the green ones seem to, so I never get red ones now. Nursery. Oh yeah. Black Adder. Ah, uh, it's one of those red it's not a green one, is it? Uh, Black Adder. It's dead. Where is that police helicopter? <laughs> it just sounds like he's just done a nose dive. I don't like these white ones. I know they look the look again for, but they look a bit old fashioned. Oh, maybe the garage got the windows in. I know it's like something out of the 70s. This is another new estate. A bit of a trek today, I've been looking around them. I can't get down here now, that's a bit. Oh no, no windows. Oh no windows, look. We're just saying there's no room 
Look at the floor sp space downstairs. There's not there's not a lot of room. I think a little bit disappointing in the view. That they one. are very small, aren't they? That's the lounge. See, it's the patios as well at the back. And look at that house right at the back. Mm. To the patios. Mm. It's right in your back garden. Mm. What do you whitewash houses? New build. That's something out of the 70s. Not them at all. Same room we were just looking in. See, that's the kitchen diner. So the kitchen fits around that part, and the table goes here, and then this is the room. Just about to see that the old door. Yeah, it is small. Today. Stairs. So right, but why would you put some wardrobes there? <laughs> Do you reckon? I don't know. Unless you had one there. Because you've got windows, haven't you? Well, that's the bathroom. That's just that village. Shower room. Which is and got the... Is this a bigger bedroom? Yeah. What are you saying? It's like, where would you put a window for me? You'd have to build it in this alcove, wouldn't you? Yeah. Well, that one... <laughs> the sockets, you can't, those sockets no, and stuff in there. Build it into there. You'd have to have it here, though, wouldn't you? Yeah. But you could only have, like... Double wardrobe, maybe, yeah. Yeah, they never show the front thing is of these houses, they never yeah. show them with wardrobes yeah. in, so yeah. they all look nice, but they're not always that practical. Yeah. When you move in, it's a different story. Yeah. 